Okay, well we're back at work. I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, caterpillar maintenance today again. And what we're doing today is this is the engine raw water pump or salt water pump. This is our main uh, coolant pump and this is a three hour maintenance. And we're going to be installing this new pump right in here. Um, this is a marine engine. So there's no radiator, no fans, nothing like that. So what we have is we have raw salt water that gets pumped into this plate cooler. So basically you've got salt water going in on one side of the plates and cooling the jacket water. And this is our version of a radiator for marine application. So uh, I'm going to get started here. I'm going to isolate the water. I'm going to start unbolting some of this pipe work. Uh, this pump's a little bit heavy. I may have to sling it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be moving this one by hand. Would not want to drop it down there. So, otherwise I'd never get it out. So, okay, let's, uh, let's get started here. Okay, so I got my water isolated. I'm going to start, uh, there's two of these uh, types of clamps. One here and one on the other side. I'm going to start with these. I'm going to end up having to take off uh, all of these, probably these elbows. I'll just take that right off. It just makes your life easier. But I'm just going to start with these. Start undoing them. Get on the right way. This one. I'll get this one. I'll do two at the same time. I'll take this clamp off. And then I'll undo this flange up here. Okay, so I got everything pretty much loosened off here. Uh, this clamp is pretty much ready to come off. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, residual water. This is uh, salt water. Um, probably just draining down from the cooler and stuff. Um, I got everything isolated, so once this uh, fully stops, I'll take this last bolt out. We'll pop this elbow off. And then uh, we'll finish up this one. And then uh, we'll see how we can sling this pump up. Okay, and this is how this elbow sits in here. Uh, just kind of sits in here with a rubber. This looks like homemade rubber. And this clamp goes around. Uh, yeah, definitely homemade. The rubber, I believe, should look more like this one. That's the ones we're going to use here for our uh, replacement. All right, let's get this one off, exact same as this. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, and we'll carry on slinging this and unbolting it. Okay, so I've got my pump slung. I've got the uh, chain block hanging here. Uh, just to support the weight of this pump, it is quite heavy. Uh, so I just got a little bit of tension on here so it can't go anywhere. And now I've got to break the, uh, the bolts. There's four fasteners that hold this pump on. There's a shaft and there's a gear on here. So I'm using, uh, it's kind of a, kind of a weird thing, but I got a little 7 16 multi-point on this side. And on the inside is, I think, 11 16 So I'm going to break these four bolts and slide this pump out, sling it onto the deck, and then we'll have a look at that gear uh, that meshes into the, the, to the, to the drive ring. We'll have a look at that and we'll have to see uh, how we take the gear off and uh, install it on this one because the new pump does not come with the gear. So in the event that I cannot get the gear off, that's happened before, we've actually broke pullers before, Sometimes they come off easy, sometimes they don't. Uh, if it does not come off, I actually do have a spare gear that can go on here, so. We should not be stuck. So let's break these bolts. Let's get this separated. See uh, what we have. Okay, so I got my four bolts out. And uh, starting to wiggle the pump here. You can see it moving. Moving side to side.
<laughs> it's coming out. It's coming out. It's just about out. Now, I'm holding the camera and I'm doing this with one hand, which is kind of stupid. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. There it is. And there's that gear that I was talking about. That's the gear we're going to have to take off. And obviously that mesh is into here. And you got your oil seals and everything else. So I've put a new oil seal here. Right where this old one was. And uh, see about getting that gear off and stick it on this one. So I'm going to put the camera down. I got to jack this up. Bring it out here on the deck. And. Uh, We'll try to wrestle with this thing. See what kind of a fight it puts up. Okay, so I just put a strap wrench on here to hold the gear. I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand, but I've got it loosened off. It actually it was not it was actually not tight at all, which is really not good. But then again, the gear kind of sits kind of sits mostly on, on the taper. It's the taper that holds it in position, but still. Uh, I'm going to put this on a little bit tighter. I'm not sure what the torque spec is. I'm actually not even going to look it up. I'm just going to tighten this down. This was not tight at all. So now, let's get a puller and see how horrible our life is. Let's try this over here. Yes, it's a good fit. It looks good. And you see how the shaft is tapered. So once that's pressed on, the surface area is kind of what seats it. But, uh, let's try to get this off. Okay, so I've got the strap wrench holding the gear and the puller. I've got the puller in place. And <clears throat> I basically cannot turn that. So I'm going to give it a couple love taps. I'm going to keep trying. And like I said, worst case, if I cannot get this off, I do have a spare one. I got a spare one. We have broken pullers in the past. So I'm going to try a little bit. If I have no success, uh, the pump will be returned to Caterpillar for an overhaul. And uh, yeah, they'll have to take the gear off. And that's fine, because then they can take it off and sell it back to us. So, but anyway, I will try my best. Uh, put this camera down and have another go at it. Okay, well, she just popped. So what I did is I put the maximum tension on it, put a little bit of leverage underneath, and she just popped right up. So there we go. Our gear is free. So we'll transfer this over to that. We'll sling this pump up, and we'll throw it in the hole. All right. Here's the new pump. It's just about in place. Uh, I do have a new O-ring in here for the oil seal. That's to keep the oil lubrication in here in the case from leaking out. And I've got it slung up just putting the right amount of tension on here. I gotta wiggle, I gotta wiggle it in. It wants to go, it's almost there. Try not to bounce you around too much. If I can get it close enough, so what I gotta do is I gotta get the gears to mesh. And once the gears are meshed, they can go into each other and uh, I can get the bolts started. Uh, the last thing you want to do here is to force anything. Uh, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Uh, let's throw a bolt in here just to see if I can bring these together. If if, there, if it's binding it will not come together. I'm just gonna go uh, very I'm gonna go very gentle and uh, see if we can get this in. This will be the first step. Get this back together and then we can start looking at opening these up and getting our elbows and our piping back in. Okay, let's get these mated. Okay, a couple of uh, little wiggles. I had I got these bolts just sort of started. Uh, wiggled it a little bit and she fell right into place. So I'm gonna put these four fasteners in and get these all uh, tightened down and then move on to the pipework. Well, I got the clamps off and I got my new rubber seals in place. Now, I did put a little bit of RTV sealant underneath 
So, uh, I mean, don't bite my head off. I know it's not required. I just put them on here so that they can't slide out of place when I'm putting my elbows in. Um, you know, someone's not going to like that I put RTV on here, but it is just to hold the things in place. Uh, I'm going to walk away for a little bit and go have a coffee. And when I come back, these will be set up a little bit better. And then I'll uh, be able to carry on with these elbows. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to stick this on here. Stick this on here, bolt it back up. I'm going to reuse that existing gasket. It's still in good shape. Clamp's going to go around here. And then for this one, it's this piece of pipe here that I probably could have left in place, but I chose to remove it because just for interference sake. Uh, so that's going to go here along with this elbow that's going to come this way. And uh, yeah, we should be in business. We'll get this all buttoned back up. And uh, we'll run this engine up, make sure we got good coolant flowing through, and uh, that should be that. The old clamps here, I'm going to keep for spares. Uh, I really use the brand new ones, got some nice brand new ones here. And uh, not bad, not a bad job, other than the weight of the pump itself, it's very straightforward. Uh, and the biggest thing there when you're in the shipping business like this on a vessel is uh, finding the time to do it. And today, there was no shipping in the harbor, so it was quiet. So, good time to get this done, and I can actually take my time and not rush through. So now it's coffee time. Uh, when I come back, we'll button this all back up, and we'll fire this engine up. Okay. Okay, I'm just finishing up here. I got uh, this union with the rubber all clamped down. This flange is done. Uh, I'm just reinstalling this uh, inlet pipe here. And I'm going to pivot this little head around that's on a swivel. And I'll just pivot this around. Line these up, line these bolts up. And I'm going to run this engine up. And I'm going to check for leaks. Hopefully we're all good to go. All right. Let's try this out, check for leaks.